is brought to you by this station and by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation. This week on News 6, we'll meet a promising cartoonist. We'll see how computers have taken over Lakota East Elementary. And we'll see how certain colors can make you look more attractive. Hi, and welcome back to News 6. I'm Becky Merkel from Lakota East Elementary School in Burgoon, Ohio. Here with the story about a talented young artist is J.D. Sue Laughlin. Can you name some popular comic book heroes? Batman and Superman come to mind, but have you ever heard of The Guardian Adventure or Windstorm? If you haven't, then you haven't seen the comics of Brandon Wolf, a student at Lakota East Elementary School. Do you like comics? Reading adventures of superheroes saving the universe from the forces of evil? Brandon Wolf, a sixth grader at Lakota East Elementary School, liked comics so much he started drawing them. Making a comic is like being a superhero or like buying a toy. When you make a comic, you can make them move in certain ways, sort of like you have it right in your hands. How did you become a cartoonist? I started drawing about four years ago, and I started drawing comics about three. And I like drawing comics because anything can happen in comic books, and I was trying to make the, I'm trying to make the best superheroes better than the ones that you buy. Brandon has never had any training in becoming an artist, but that hasn't stopped him from illustrating the adventures of such heroes as the Guardian Avenger and Windstorm, a hero who can take moisture from the air and turn it into weather forces directed at villains. I've created Windstorm, who takes the moisture from the air, and I have another character, and his name is Guardian Avenger, and he's a mutant, he was born with wings, and he can fly the speed of sound. The last comic book I made was Guardian Avenger, and it starred a guest star, Windstorm, and they fought uh, another supervillain that I have named Blaze, who can concentrate his the radioactivity around him and concentrate it into rays or beams. As he grows older, Brandon hopes to improve his drawing skills and maybe work one day for Marvel Comics. That's quite a super goal for a super talented artist. This week's show is produced by Betty Turnell's sixth grade class from Lakota East Elementary School in Burgoon, Ohio. Burgoon is located in Sandusky County, about 20 miles southeast of the city of Bowling Green. The city was founded in 1830, and its present population is around 260 people. Now here's Carla Fiesel with an apple of a story. If you had predicted 20 years ago that computers would dominate the world of te technology, most people would have probably laughed at you, but computers have quickly become a dominant force in our schools and homes, and Lakota East Elementary is using this new technology to broaden its students' learning abilities. Adults remember learning math by counting on their fingers. Technology has changed all that, bringing computers into the classroom. With profits obtained by the Ohio Lottery, East Elementary has purchased nine Apple computers. To keep uh to maintain our state standards, we needed computers in our elementary school. And uh, we, have, we are now meeting the requirements necessary. We have uh, all children in, the, in grades K through six are getting hands-on experience with the computers. And some have uh, time in free time, if they have extra uh, time during the day when uh, their work is finished, they can feel free to come to the library and have special time to use the comp computers to their own discretion. What do kids learn with computers? 
We have um, computer programs that, that uh, are used with our curriculum. They are curriculum-based. They are spelling and um, math. We have language arts. We have many um, game programs that are all educational material. We have uh, a, quite a source of poetry, a, a library skills, and almost any type of history, government, and advanced math. The computers make learning a little more fun than just sitting in a classroom. Students at East Elementary use their computers to print messages, even to play games. But the overall goal for the school is to give the kids basic training they need to operate computers. Who wants to go back to the past where people counted on their fingers, when computers make learning that much easier? it's time for Kids View, a weekly feature in which kids get to say what is on their minds. This week's question is, if you had one wish, what would you wish for? And it was submitted by Jason Harmon, Greg Huffman, and Rachel Murray. Here's what you had to say. If I had one wish, I'd wish for a million more wishes. If I had one wish, I'd wish to be B-Man on Miss Fetzel Science. I wish to move to Florida. If I had one wish, I'd wish for a million dollars. If I had one wish, I'd wish for a Lamborghini. I wish for a mansion over my head. If I had one wish, I would wish to go to New Orleans. If I had one wish, I would wish for a 750 Harley. If I had one wish, I'd wish to be on the Chicago Bears. I wish for everything in the world. I'd wish to be a race car driver. I wish to be Hulk Hogan. <laughs> color analysis is a new and exciting way to determine the colors that look best on a person. Yvonne Riffle, a, li a licensed color consultant, showed New Six how colors can help brighten a person's appearance. Yvonne Riffle is a first grade teacher at East Elementary, but she is also a licensed color consultant. Yvonne is trained to determine the colors that look best on a person. Every person has a predominant blue tone or golden tone determined by hair color, eye color, and skin tone. Yvonne examines the hair, eyes, and skin of a person and it helps them tell what colors are best for them to wear. Yvonne then goes through a process called draping, where different color fabric is placed below the face to help Yvonne in her analysis. Okay, winter colors are coming from your left, Jenny. Pure white. Okay, here comes an icy pink. and a powdered pink. A lot of the summer colors will have the name powder to them. Jenny looks good in both of these pinks. Okay, here comes magenta. I'm gonna compare that to a rose pink. It's a really bright color, and then we're gonna do a real pastel. Why should somebody go through color analysis? Somebody should go through color analysis, Jenny, because you want to look your best. If you look your best, you feel good, and people feel good about you. That's all for this week's show. We hope to see you again on News 6 real soon.